Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card and envelope video. I shared this envelope on my Instagram a couple days ago and many of you wanted to see how it was created and thankfully I was filming when I made that envelope, but I hadn't made a card to go along with it. So today I'm going to walk you through first the envelope and then how I made the card. So this pattern paper is from my, my mind's eye. It's from their In Bloom collection, which I think was from a couple of years ago or quite some time ago. It's hard to find. I'm really sorry that I can't link, link this paper for you. Um, it's just not available anymore. It was just something I had in my stash. Anyway, I use it to create this envelope. And for a five by seven envelope, the We Are Memory Keepers one, two, three punch board says to cut your paper to nine and seven eighths. So I cut it to nine seven, seven eighths square. And then I, with the little scrap that I had left over, I tested out some Copic coloring and it worked great. So I picked out four colors. I've got a light green and a dark green and also a light yellow and kind of a more brownish yellow. So I did very, very simple coloring on this because I was coloring this entire sheet of pattern paper and I didn't want to get super fussy with it. Of course, if you love to color, you absolutely could, but I was just going for a little bit of color on this pattern and I wanted it to um, just be really, really simple. So I did just a light wash or a light solid color of the lighter shade and then went in with the darker shade just to add a little bit of shading and I colored all of the leaves all at the same time. And when those were complete, I did all of the flowers. And these flowers are so simple. Because of this style of illustration on the pattern paper, it really lends itself to not having many colors needed. So I only used two shades of yellow and I just let the, the etch drawing and like the shading on the flowers do all of the work for me. It was super fast and easy. I basically colored in the darker shade in the areas um, that were at the interior of the flower and then I went over with the lighter yellow and this pattern paper actually it's not uh, white it has it's a little bit of an ivory tone just a very very light cream so this yellow even though it is very very bright on the marker it does uh, get toned down a little bit so now I'm using the one, two, three punch board to actually create the envelope. So I'm going to slide it in here and go to, I think it's four and five eighths or something like that. I think that's the measurement or it looks like maybe four and eighth. I, I don't entirely remember. It says on the punch board, but you put that in and then you use the score line, rotate, and then do the same process again. You just line up that score line with the little tabby nub thing on the left hand side. This is not the best instructional video for how to use the punch board. Um, for that, there are, I've done many other videos. This is just showing the process. So I folded up my envelope and I'm going to adhere the bottom flap up so that it creates the envelope so that I know exactly what I'm working with when I put the address on. So I'm taking some express it tape and I'm applying it to the bottom flap. I'm leaving the very point of the flap open since that um, is exposed. It doesn't, there's no paper underneath it and I don't wanna glue the envelope shut. I just wanna glue the, the bottom flap to the side flaps. You'll see here when I fold it up. See how that center area is exposed? You don't want adhesive behind that center area on the, on the flap. So I just, just check to make sure. Use my Teflon bone folder just to really press down that adhesive. So now I have my envelope. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the postage now. Um, generally, I like to wait till the end just in case I have a mistake on the envelope. But at this point, I knew I was really in it. I'd already uh, colored the whole envelope. I'd folded it. I was committed. I was gonna make it work. So I'm using some Dr. Peach Martin's um, Black Star Matte Ink. This is a really, really, really dark black ink and it's perfect to go over this printed pattern on the paper um, because I wanted to have that black area and then use white to address the envelope. So I'm just using a, a watercolor brush or a paint brush to paint this on. Um, I need three lines, one for the name and then two for the street address. So I let that dry and actually used my heat tool to speed up the drying process a little bit. And then I went in with a white paint marker. This is a Pilot Juice paint pen. Um, I, I think it might be fairly new to the market. It's new to me. 
It's a wonderful paint pen and actually comes in two widths. I got both and I enjoy both. Um, it goes over this black ink extremely well. In fact, um, the black ink really proved its worth when I made a mistake on her last name and I painted over it with that same black ink and it completely disguised it. It was perfect. I kind of love that that worked out because then I was able to really test out that black ink on top and see how well it covered up any mistakes. So I put on the rest of her name and I also have her uh, street address on there. This one's going all the way to Ohio. And after I had her name on there, I turned the envelope around and I did the same process for the back flap so that I could put my return address. And I did the same exact thing, the black ink, dried it, and then came into the paint pen. Now I'm using the um, extra fine paint pen for the flap, um, whereas the name on, like Heather's name, was done with the fine point. So this is the thinner of the two and it's just dainty enough to go on the back of this envelope. All right, so there's the finished envelope. And after I shared this on Instagram, like I mentioned, a bunch of you wanted to see how it was made. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to make a card to go with this envelope. So I'm using the beautiful flower stamp set from Simon's Stamp. I thought the flowers had a similar look. And I stamped that on some white cardstock. This is Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock. Stamped that in some Simon's Stamp Intense Black ink. And then I used the same exact Copic marker colors to color this image in. And I colored it in the same style, just keeping it really, really simple, putting a, a darker shade um, in the areas that the, the image kind of indicates, and then going over the top with that lighter shade. And this was really messy, fast coloring. It was nothing too fussy. Um, and it actually was really a joy to color because I wasn't being super careful. I just wanted to get that color down onto the paper. Now, I, when I stamped this image, I stamped it twice to get a really good impression. And even though I did hit it with my heat tool, some of the ink was still a little bit wet. So you'll see on that flower, there are some little gray spots in the long run, it didn't bother me, just went over it and uh, everything looked good. But there was just a little bit of smearing um, on that. And it was just a reminder to myself, since I, since I haven't you know, colored with my Copics in a while, to make sure that that ink that you've stamped with is completely dry before you go in and color with your markers. So really simple coloring on this whole entire area. It did bring in a little bit of a darker brown in the center of the flowers, but other than that, I used the exact same colors as what I used on the envelope. So I adhered my stamped panel to the front of a five by seven card base. And then I stamped the three large words from the stamp set on black uh, cardstock and heat embossed it with white heat embossing powder. Cut those out and then adhered them using some foam tape. Super simple card and it mimics the envelope design. So that is my video for today. I hope it helps you look at pattern paper a little bit differently, especially if you find pattern patterns that are black and white. You can color them with your markers. I think it worked out extremely well. Thanks so much for watching today. I will be back soon with another card video.